unbox the printer and locate the lift handles on the box. Lift the printer by using the handles on both sides of the printer and place on the stand. Slide the printer into the slotted rail on the left side of the stand. Install the left side printer stand wing on the stand by aligning the side notches with the four screws. Tighten all four screws using a number three Phillips screwdriver. Install the right side printer stand wing on the stand by aligning the side notches with the four screws. Tighten all four screws using a number three Phillips screwdriver. Remove paper tray two for visual when inserting the two alignment screws. Insert both screws from underneath the stand and go through the bottom of the printer using a number three Phillips screwdriver. Place tray tube back in the printer. Remove all packaging tape from the printer. Notice the two placement holes on the stand just right of the printer. These two holes are for the feeder locking knobs. Unbox the feeder. Carefully lift the feeder from both ends and place on the right side of the printer stand. Have someone continue to hold up on the feeder so that the end that extends over the stand is fully secured. Continue holding the feeder end up. Locate the two feeder locking knobs. Carefully move the feeder until both slots match the holes for the locking knobs. Insert both locking knobs to secure the feeder to the printer stand. Do not tighten the locking knobs until indicated. Continue holding the feeder up and push the feeder against the printer. Use the red line marked on the feeder roller to center with the printer. The center of the gray bypass pickup roller is the reference point to align the feeder. To 
To center the feeder, move along the slots where both locking knobs have been secured. After the feeder has been centered, gently slide the feeder back and tighten both locking knobs. After the locking knobs are tightened, push the feeder back against the printer. Locate the media plate and set on the arms. Locate the four M2 screws and secure the plate to the arms. Locate the four thumb screws for the optional conveyor tray. Place the conveyor tray into position on the left side and secure all four screws. Unbox the optional conveyor and slide it into position on the top of the printer. Locate the two locking knobs and from the bottom of the conveyor tray secure both in place. Next, open the printer's front cover and remove the rip cords from each color drum unit. Then unpackage each of the four toner containers. Before inserting the toner, shake each toner container up four or five times to ensure the even distribution of the toner is within the cartridge. Facing up, insert the toner into place, keeping the container horizontal. Repeat the same procedure for all four toner cartridges, then close the front cover. The open area under the printer is for consumable or media storage. If the optional computer stand has been purchased, unbox, assemble, and place on top of the printer.